there guys, Coach the Chow here, Doncaster born, but built for theme parks, and welcome to a theme park newsroom update. This is from F Six Flags Fiesta Texas. Uh, so before we upload the Dollywood and Halloween Horror Nights videos, we have to look at this news from Six Flags Fiesta Texas this evening, uh, afternoon, evening, kind of thing. And, um, wow. We've got evidence to suggest that the coaster next year will be from Premier Rides. Now, before we get started, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell to miss YouTube video. We're on the road to 3,000 subs and a million views. Go and check out the other videos from today. The trailer from Far Up Summerland's Phoenix attraction for 2022. The analysis video on Phoenix at Far Up Summerland. The reaction video to KSI the Musical. Stay tuned for updates from Dollywood and Halloween Horror Night still to come tonight. Also, guys, check the description down below for social media links and also Google Forms where you can submit your own ideas for the channel. And for now, guys, let's have a look at this little piece of evidence that suggests that Premier Rides will be manufacturing the coaster next year for Six Flags Fiesta Texas. So on your screen now, Fan Dabby Dozy via the President Jeffrey Siebert. I love Wednesday morning special deliveries. And here it is. Premier Rides are delivering. They are delivering to the park. Now, what does this say? This suggests to us that we're looking right now, right here, at a Premier Rides roller coaster for Six Flags Fest Texas next year. Uh, now, we know that Six Flags has had a great relationship with Premier Rides uh, in the past. Uh, and it goes back to uh, previous roller coasters. It goes back to previous coasters uh, that they opened at the Six Flags Parks. Now, we're going back here to the first coaster they opened, which was 1996 with Runaway Mountain at Over Texas. And then Batman and Robin the Chiller uh, opened in 1998, as well as Mr. Freeze Reverse Blast, again at Over Texas. Uh, Batman and Robin the Chiller at Great Adventure, of course. Uh, Mr. Freeze Reverse Blast at St. Louis in 1998 as well. Uh, and then after that, we had Six Flags uh, Fiesta Texas and Six Flags America both opening Premier Rides LIM coasters. Uh, Fiesta Texas with Poltergeist, America with Joker's Jinx, uh, both in 1999. And as we enter the new millennium, uh, they've worked, uh, obviously, they haven't worked for a few years. And then it came to 2012 with Superman Ultimate Flight at Discovery Kingdom, one of the Skyrocket 2 models. Then we went to Full Throttle in 2013, which was a Skyrocket 3 model. Model, and then we go forward uh, to Six Flags Magic Mountain, uh, their first Premier Rides coaster from that manufacturer. And that was, of course, their 2020, delay from 2019, West Coast races that opened right at the start of 2020 uh, before COVID even existed in the UK. Uh, it was obviously uh, West Coast races, their Premier launch uh, quadruple, uh, quadruple Mobius Loop racing coaster, uh, the first of its kind in the world. And they've got a great relationship with Six Flags, so I'm not expecting that to change. And I think we're looking here at Premier Rise Launch Coaster. But now I'm going to share why I think I agree with this and what I expect from Fiesta Texas in 2022. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Six of All Ages. That is speaking about Fiesta Texas 2022. And it looks like it's going to be a Premier Rise Roller Coaster now. Obviously, this goes along with the rumor that we heard about last year. Now, if you haven't seen that video, go and check it out because it's well worth the check out. We did a video last year and we spoke about how there was a rumor going around about several attractions coming to Six Flags Parks. It was rumored to be uh, for like a, a, a sort of a, a surprise announcement for 2021. Looks like it's 2022 now. So I'm going to go through that rumor right now. So obviously the rumor at the time was in terms of three coasters coming to the Six Flags chain, RMC Raptor, well, three new coasters, RMC Raptor, a premier coaster project, nothing specific, and an SNS follow up to Max Force. Now, obviously, there was a rumor video that I did a couple of years ago from over Georgia about them doing uh, an SNS free spin and an SNS uh, launch coaster similar to Max Force over a two year period. Could that rumor start in 2022 with the Max Force style? Uh, coaster for them and then the following year in 2023 add a free spin to the part now we're obviously we'll have to look over the 2022 season uh, if that does come to light and if we do get a Maxwell style coaster over Georgia for next year uh, but in terms of Fiesta Texas this goes along with Premier Rides and a Premier Coaster project being part of the Six Flags Rides and Attractions for next year and Fiesta Texas could be the part because of course RMC Raptors going to where? 
Magic Mountain. So over Georgia for SNS, Magic Mountain for RMC, and Fiesta Texas for Premier Rides. It makes sense. Now, of course, going through the rest of the rumor, you've got the Screaming Swing, and you've got the Zampella Family Rides. So Zampella Family Rides, that'll be part of like a kids' area refurb for Great Adventure, maybe. Um, obviously, they're going to invest in the the old Roadrunner Railway rethemed into Jersey Devil or that Jersey Devil theme. So we've got probably two things going off in Great Adventure next year. And then you got the Screaming Swing. That'll go to somewhere else in Six Flags Chase, somewhere that needs a flat ride. Uh, but it should be interesting to see if the rest of that rumor comes to light, if they're gonna do a Screaming Swing and some Zampola family rides as well. Now, obviously the big thing here is what type of premier rides coaster project do I think is coming to Fiesta Texas? Well, obviously there's a few options out there. They could go the Skyrocket 3 model, like the full throttle type thing. Um, it'd be a bit weird though, wouldn't it, if Over George is getting a Max 4 style coaster and Fiesta Texas gets a full throttle style coaster. It's quite similar in retrospect. So it'd be very weird if they both got different things but similar things. It'd be very, it'd be really weird and it'd be a very Six Flags thing to do in my opinion. But I don't think that's happening at all. One route they could go down is the West Coast Racers type project and theme it up to a horror myth lore of Texas. Not a racing theme like West Coast Racers at Magic Mountain, but like a horror Texas theme. Now, they could go down a completely different coaster route. They could go down a completely new concept from Premier Ride. We don't know that for sure, but it's not out of the realms of possibility. So, I think it's going to be interesting to see what's going to happen here, but... I'm super excited about what's going to happen here. So, there we go, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching this update. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now, my name is Coast Shell. Keep living the coast life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a Six Flags-tastic day.